Chapter 131 Guinea Pigs, 1. Kaugzu's team, just like Cheeksia's group had encountered the same thing at the beginning of the test, a group of 70 or 80 students in their pursuit waiting for a chance to attack them. Fortunately, they have Shang and Xiao in their team, the top of the pharmaceutical branch and also the only student at Holy Roland School to reach the pinnacle of primary level pharmacist. Shang Xiao had started learning basic pharmaceutical one year ago, before he took the test. He had stored many potions he had configured before at his disposal, and those potions consists a lot of hypnotic types and slow medicaments. These potions, although just ordinary, the effect is quite good. Shang Xiao just smashed seven or eight bottles of potions to help their team escape from the siege of that group of students. Although the pharmacists have no fighting power, the potions in their possessions are equally troublesome. As of the moment, Kaogzu, Meng Yijun, Kian Shani and another magician's strength are being suppressed by the potion. Shang Xiao of course became the center of the team. Even Kaogzu and Meng Yijun can just only rely on him right now. Shen Yang Xiao hid in a tall tree not far from the five people, studying their faces with a calm manner, not wanting to rush things out. It is still daytime, she cannot appear directly in front of the five people, or else she's afraid she's going to get attacked by stones and arrows, and she will not be able to do some stealing. She will wait until the night comes. The moon will be her best shelter. Shang Xiao and his team move toward the depth of the dark forest. Their intention is obvious, they do not want to encounter any other teams and face them head on. They can only look for a safe place as soon as possible and give Shang Xiao enough time to configure the antidote. Along the way, they have encountered two groups, but their luck proved to be good as these teams are just weaklings. These unlucky children. They planned to attack Kaogzu and the others but Shang Xiao use a slow medicament to make them powerless. Until late afternoon, Shang Xiao and his team were finally able to find a place which was an abandoned cave of a magical beast. After confirming that there were no other teams and magical beast, the five people who had been wandering in the forest all day have finally relaxed. They ate a little and sat in front of the fire to warm their body. It's getting late. We should rest early. You will be in charge of the vigil Li Xiang. Kaogzi looked beside the bonfire, towards the student from the magician branch, who has zero sense of presence. Obviously, he was not happy hearing his name. All the way, be it big or small things, Kaogzi pushed all the tasks to him. Even finding tree branches to make the pile of firewood in front of him was his job. Li Xiang knows the strength of Kaogzu and Meng Yijun, but he is also under the top rankings of the magician branch and is considered strong, who is in their branch will treat him impolitely. He originally agreed to Kaogzu's invitation to join this team with the idea of having a strong alliance, he is not going to be a nanny of these four people. Moreover, Kaogzu and Meng Yijun right now have no strength at all. How can they just command him? Li Xiang immediately responded unhappily, Stop joking. Right now, my strength is far less than before. After walking for a day, I am also tired. Chapter 132 Guinea Pigs, 2. What do you mean? Kaogzu didn't think that Li Xiang would object, knowing that among the five of them, besides the beauty, Qian Shani, they are all considered top-notch talents in various academy. Li Xiang thought too highly of his skills, if it's not only because the top of magician's branch, Cheeksia, is hard to approach, he will not go for a second option. The idea of Kaogzu is for Li Xiang to take care of miscellaneous tasks, but this is not what Li Xiang wanted. How come you don't have any sense of team spirit? We are in the middle of a test in this dark forest. There's no guarantee that no team will attack us while we're asleep. Do you want to let those bunch of idiots steal everything while we're sleeping? Meng Yijun also frowned at Li Xiang. He and Kaogzu share the same thoughts, with their strength and Qian Shani's beauty, Li Xiang's existence is just a drag, so his role can just only be the one responsible for miscellaneous things. How can I do that on my own? Being a lookout should not only be my job. I also drank the suppression potion R. Ah. Li Xiang is very aggrieved listening to the two constantly blaming him, this vigil should have been the responsibility of all the members of their team, but Kaogzu and Meng Yijun's attitude is obviously pushing the matter to him. You indeed drank the potion, but with your strength, the negative effect on your body is far less serious than the impact on ours. 
Kao Xu knit his brows, as the top swordsman student, if he say one is one, no one will dare to refute him in their branch. Li Xiang's continues rebuff makes him very dissatisfied. Li Xiang grind his teeth in secret, although he is not the top student in the magician's branch, this is because the number of magician students are far more than the number of the generations in any other branches, furthermore, the top seat belongs to an aberrant genius like Cheeksia. If he were to go to other branches, his strength is enough to put him in the top three spots. But in the mouth of Kaogzu and Meng Yijun, he was just like a piece of trash. Anyway, I will not agree, if you want someone to be the lookout then we take turns. He was already fed up with his arrogant team mates. Li Xiang's stubborn attitude in Ke Kaogzu and Meng Yijun's great dissatisfaction, Shangwen Xiao, who had not made any sound since, also frowned. The moon shines brightly, the few people sitting around the warm bonfire are already feeling a little sleepy, but they do not dare to sleep at all. This exam is very important to them after all, and they do not want to be taken advantage of in their slumber. Haven't you discussed it yet? As the only girl in the team, Kian Shani has been taken care of by her four teammates. She is already sleepy but she had to accompany these four stubborn guys in their non-stop senseless quarrel. Kian Shani's existence in the team is akin to a goddess, and the goddess has now spoken, several men's faces can't help but soften. However, Li Xiang hardened his heart this time and decided not to concede, turning Kao Xu and Meng Yijun very angry. They almost beat him and put him on the ground. Shang Wen Xiao cannot watch the scene in front of him anymore, he said. Stop arguing already. I have a few bottles of swamp potions on me, we can all sleep in the cave, and I'll use the swamp potion in the entrance so that even if someone tries to sneak up on us, they'll be trapped by the swamp potion. Chapter 133 Guinea Pigs, 3 Sure enough, the key is to rely on Shangwen brother. Kaogza smiled slightly, but in his mind he was unhappy that Shangwen Xiao once again took the limelight. However, there's no helping it, after all they have been wandering all day and have long been tired and sleepy. Shang Wen Xiao just glanced at him before taking out five bottles of swamp potion from his storage ring. In fact, he is a little reluctant, if not because he wants to show off in front of Kian Shani, he will be too lazy to use and waste his own potions. Let me be clear, I only have five bottles of swamp potion at my disposal, just enough for tonight. You have to think what to do tomorrow evening. Rest assured, we will find a solution tomorrow. When I put the swamp potions at the entrance of the cave, I'll leave a hidden secured area. If you need to go out in the middle of the night, remember to walk on that space. Shang Wen Xiao stated in a rather arrogant tone, looking at the usually proud top students of swordsman and archer branches being modest, he felt extremely cool. When they just started to form the team, these two people keep on displaying haughty attitudes. Shang Wen Xiao began to set up the trap, only leaving a small space at the corner, enough for a foot to step on. Except for those who witness him arranged the trap, no one else could possibly locate this secured area. Once everything is properly set up, the five people mind their own business, and then fall into a deep slumber. However, these five individuals do not have any idea that ever since this afternoon, two small figures have been quietly following behind them. Shen Yang Xiao is lying on a tree branch, looking at the group of youths inside the cave in a lazy manner. Vermilion Bird, on the other hand, is also sitting on a branch, dangling his two white and tender legs. His pair of red eyes are blinking. He looked at Shen Yang Xiao with a faint smile on her face. Hey! You have been with this group of people for a while now, what are you planning to do? Vermilion Bird find it quite hard to understand his new owner's behavior. Shen Yang Xiao raised an eyebrow. She looked up at the sky and stared at the moon. I'm thinking whether to play or not. Play? Vermilion Bird was puzzled. Stealing the badges of these idiots is no challenge at all ah. For a person who had pursued and mastered the art of stealing, Shen Yang Xiao could not bear to look directly at the five defenseless idiots. Even their only useful trap was done under her nose, the safe area almost welcomes her. Taking away their badges is like taking things from her own home. Vermilion Bird finds her new owner's interests very strange. If she can deal with things that easily, 
Why is she still worried and looks so troubled? She doesn't really need to take any medicine. I should try using illusion technique. Something flashed in Shen Yang Xiao's mind. Before the test, she had just learned two combination curse techniques, one of which is able to create illusions and can control a person's action for a short amount of time. From the time she started learning warlock skills, she never had a chance to experiment on anyone. She only heard a bit from Tang Nazi's mouth that the effect of a single based curse technique is already very abnormal, but she really doesn't exactly know what will be the effect of this combination curse technique. The curse is a combination of four single based spells, so the effect should not be too bad, right? Besides, even if the effect of the curse ends up not good, she can still use her godly thief skills to steal their badges. So why not use this opportunity to conduct some experiment? Chapter 134 Guinea Pigs 4 Shen Yang Xiao immediately jumped down from the tree, she stealthily moved towards the cave where Kao Xu and the others are sleeping. The vermilion bird did not follow. He hung his body on the branch upside down, watching Shen Yang Xiao fled excitingly. Kao Xu who was sound asleep was awakened by the sudden urge to urinate. He stood in a daze for a while, looked at the empty cave entrance, then glanced at his sleeping teammates. Afterwards he quietly went outside. He walked until the rear of a big tree and answered the call of nature. After raising his pants, he is ready to head back to continue his sleep, but he suddenly feels someone pat him on the shoulder. The moment he turned around, his vision became blurry. His eyes which are looking into a distance have lose focus, completely ignoring Shen Yang Xiao who is standing in front of him. A petite figure stood under the moonlight, on her ordinary looking little face was a trace of a cunning smile. Shen Yang Xiao started the curse. Her fingers are akin to a dancer's nimble feet, the fast combination of hand seals was truly shocking. Within 10 seconds, a total of 17 hand seals were perfectly ended by her fingertips. If the surviving warlocks of the Radiance Continent witnessed the speed of Shen Yang Xiao's curse technique, they will never believe that this little guy is just a novice who merely started learning warlock skills one month ago. Four single based curse technique, 17 hand seals, within a short span of 10 seconds. She completed it flawlessly in one go. Shen Yang Xiao implanted illusions on Kao Xu's mind. What made this curse technique terrifying is that within a short period of time, it can fabricate many kinds of situation. No matter what the original consciousness and memory of the target is, once the curse is casted, the target's mind will completely treat the illusions as facts. The caster can also alter their appearance randomly in the mind of the victim. Once the curse is untied, the victim will no longer have a little bit memory of the illusions. Shen Yang Xiao created an interesting tasks for Kao Xu, he must immediately head back to the cave, take all the badges from the others, and then hand it to Shen Yang Xiao. In Kao Xu's mind, Shen Yang Xiao's face has no specific image, she only recognizes her as the person responsible for collecting badges. This is the first time Shen Yang Xiao used a curse technique. Even her single based curse had never been tested on anyone before. Although the casting process was perfect, she is still unsure of the effect of the combination curse technique. After all, the conditions for the combination curse is pretty harsh. A slight error on the movements of the fingers can cause the curse to fail entirely. After finishing the last move, she narrowed her eyes and watched Kao Xu's reaction, feeling a little nervous. Kao Xu blinked his eyes. His sight finally fell on Shen Yang Xiao's figure, and his previous blurry vision became clear. For a moment, Shen Yang Xiao thought that she has failed and Kao Xu discovered his own behavior. However, even though Kao Xu's eyes returned to normal, there is no unusual reactions. He looked at Shen Yang Xiao, then turned around to walk toward the cave. All the way, he did not display any abnormal action, as if nothing happened just now. Shen Yang Xiao took a deep breath. Looking at Kao Xu's back as he left, she was astonished. She succeeded. Chapter 135 Guinea Pigs 5 Kao Xu went back into the cave as if everything is normal. But he did not return to his own position to sleep directly, instead, he carefully approached Li Xiang who is lying at the most edge of the cave. He quietly squat down and reach out for the badge on Li Xiang's chest. Shen Yang Xiao who is standing in the dark outside the cave, upon seeing Kao Xu's action, 
immediately covered her face. This is simply too horrible to look at. In the eyes of a godly thief like her, Kaugzu's movements are unbearably clumsy. Even if she used her toes to think, she could see that in a few seconds, Leek Siang will be awakened due to someone's poor stealing skills. It will not be long before Kaugzu's behavior is discovered by the rest of the team. Damn it. How come she forget that while the illusion technique can control people's mind, it cannot change someone's strength. Kaugzu is a swordsman, good at drastic attacks. Letting him do some high-level stealing skills is basically like asking a butcher to make some embroideries. Shen Yang Xiao took a deep breath. Oh well, even if Kaugzu cannot get the five badges due to his utterly horrible skill, at least she has proven that the illusion technique which she learned is effective and useful. It's no big deal, she will just wait for these group of youths to fall asleep again then she will steal their badges, in any case it's nothing difficult. Leek Siang was almost in a deep sleep, he suddenly felt a force on his chest pulling his clothes, and he immediately opened his eyes. The next second? Kaugzu's big face filled his entire vision. Kaugzu, what the hell are you doing? Li Xiang immediately shouted, grabbing the hand that is reaching out to his chest. Li Xiang's sudden outcry instantly awakened the other three individuals sleeping in the cave. Meng Yijun and Shang Wenxi are quickly stand up, Qian Shani is rubbing her sleepy, hazy eyes and look at the two holding. What's the matter? Meng Yijun is having a headache just looking at these two guys. They were finally able to rest. What are they being noisy for? Li Xiang hastily covered the badge on his chest. Pointing to Kao Xu he cried, Kao Xu wants to take my badge. What? Li Xiang's words made Meng Yijun and Shang Wen Xiao reveal a surprised expression. They immediately looked at the frowning Kao Xu. What's going on? If it was another team who came to steal Li Xiang's badge they can still understand. But Kaogzu is a member of their own team. This exam includes a rule which states that a stolen badge from a teammate will not have any corresponding points. Kaogzu has absolutely no reason to take Leek Siang's badge. Or is it because of the previous argument between the two, that Kaogzu wanted to retaliate against Leek Siang, thus he sees the chance to take away his badge? A group of people is baffled. Shen Yang Xiao just stood in the dark inside. She knew this will be the result. However, what happened next, is something Shen Yang Xiao will never think in her dreams. Kao Xi frowned, looking at the several people who have their gazes on him. He coldly snorted. With a hint of disdain, he said, making an uproar, you're a man yet so timid as a woman, who wants your badge. I just don't trust the trap and want to keep away our badges as the one in charge of the vigil. What? You're in charge of the vigil? Li Xiang cannot believe his ears, the arrogant Kaogzu actually wants to be the lookout. Chapter 136 Skinny Pigs, 6 Kaogzu, are you being serious? Even Meng Yijun and Shang Wen Xiao find it hard to believe him. Kaogzu humphed lightly, watching the shocked crowd he said, of course, I don't want to be eliminated from the test. Although the trap made from swamp potions is useful, it will be still difficult to prevent the archer's flying claw. If an archer used the flying claw to swing into the cave, the trap on the ground would just be a decoration. As a long-range profession, archers possess a skill with a great mobility. The flying claw, it can be easily embedded into stones and drunks, and with the rope connected to the claw. One can securely swing above the trap. This point, Meng Yijun understands very well than anyone else, because he is a great archer. But this issue was neglected by them from the beginning. No one thought that Kaogzu would remember this fatal problem in the middle of the night, and even volunteered to stand as a lookout. Whether you believe me or not, no matter what you think, I will warn you if I am not able to get into the purple class this time because of any of you, I will definitely not let that person off. Kaogzu fiercely stared at the still stunned Li Xiang, his great hostility towards him is clearly shown. Li Xiang swallowed his saliva, he did not dare to say anything. After all, a swordsman's physique is far stronger than a frail magician. Once the swordsman closed the distance, it would be difficult for the magician to defend himself. Ahem, don't say that, we are just a little surprised. You can rest assured that no one will drag anyone down. All of us will get into the purple classes of our branches. 
Meng Yijun smiled. Even though Kao Zhu's attitude is somewhat aggressive, it's just his temperament. He has always been strong, so he, being tough is normal. Then let's stop this nonsense, hand your badges to me and I'll keep them, then you can all go back to rest. But I'll say this, tonight I will be the lookout, tomorrow will be one of you. Except for Shani, everyone will take turns to keep vigil, don't think of getting around it. Kao Zhu once again glared at Li Xiang. That's natural. Shang Wen Xiao nodded, it is very important that someone had volunteered to keep the Jill for the first night. After all, the first day is the most tiring period. After having had to walk all day, they finally found a shelter almost very late that they were already too weary. Who would not want to rest their exhausted body and mind, and keep watch on the first night? The other youths have no objections to Kaogzu's actions. They were rather glad for his sudden trustworthy character. They willingly left their badges to Kaogzu's custody, then these good-looking adolescents continued to rest, including his own. Kaogzu put the five badges in his pocket and sat at the entrance of the cave. Li Xiang watched Kaogzu, when he determined that he really wanted to keep the jail rather than to take revenge on him, only then he was able to sleep at ease. No matter what the enmity is between them, they are members of the same team after all and can only wait for the exam to end to settle their hatred. Before that, they need to support one another. After several people fell asleep, Kaogzi who was sitting in the mouth of the cave suddenly stood up and headed to some dark corner outside the hole. Shen Yang Xiao was stunned looking at the badges lying on Kaogzi's hand. The corners of her mouth then hooked up slightly. She saw everything that happened earlier inside the cave. She was sure Kaogzi will fail the task. Unexpectedly, he did not only show any pressure but also deal with the mission so naturally. Chapter 137 Say Nothing in Everything, 1. She obtained five badges just like that. The effect of the illusion technique is far from what Shen Yang Xiao had anticipated. It doesn't simply control a person's mind in a short time, but it also instills an inner task to the victim's subconscious, that is to complete their duty at all cost. Upon the completion of Kao Xu's task, his clear eyes instantly turned hazy. He stared off into the distance. His eyes lose its focus once again. He slowly turned around and walked back towards the cave. Shen Yang Xiao knew that after Kao Xu returned to the cave, he will completely forget all about it. She placed the five badges in the storage ring, and then Shen Yang Xiao's agile figure quickly fled back to the tall tree where Vermilion Bird is located. Vermilion Bird with his lower legs as a hooked moved his body in a circular motion in the air, until he was sitting steadily on the branch. Did you use a combination curse technique? Vermilion Bird wrinkled his small nose, just now he clearly saw Shen Yang Xiao's fast combinations of hand seals, and it's definitely a combination curse technique. Do you recognize it? The effect of the illusion technique was truly surprising. Shen Yang Xiao is in a very good mood. In the future, this will be pretty good to use to deal with enemies unseen. I've seen a few warlocks before. Warlocks are shameless beings who use his curse to torment people. The million bird pursed his lips as he muttered. Oh, is it possible that you... Shut up. I'm a majestic mythological beast. How can a human's curse control a mythical beast? The million bird proudly folded his arms around his chest. He slightly twisted his head sideways. He won't tell her that he had really been tricked by a warlock before. He will never admit it. Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows. The night is already deep and she does not intend to continue wandering into the dark forest. Although the level of the magical beasts here is not high, they are most likely aggressive. After such a busy day she was tired and finally lay down on the trunk. In another corner of the dark forest, four wretched figures were constantly running away. Behind them is a group of people holding a light congealing crystal. The next morning, when the first rays of sunlight fell into the dark forest, the darkness of the woods was finally replaced by the light. Shen Yang Xiao had sleep soundly, suddenly she felt her chest seemed to be pressed by a boulder, causing her muffled breathing. Confused, she opened her eyes, just to see another pair of red big eyes. The million bird was not aware that he's already lying on Shen Yang Xiao's chest. Although his body is small and doesn't weigh like an adult, for the 13-year-old Shen Yang Xiao, he is quite heavy. What are you trying to do? Shen Yang Xiao stared at that pair of watery big eyes. I'm yelling at you to wake up. 
the million bird said earnestly, Shen Yang Xiao, by the way, you should watch the show. Shen Yang Xiao picked up the million bird, and then silently rubbed her sore chest. Even if that part has not yet developed, to lie down on a woman's chest early in the morning, this brat doesn't realize that it is such a shameful action. While secretly cursing the mythical bird beast in her mind, Shen Yang Xiao heard a noise from a distance. Inside the cave, Kao Xi stood at the entrance with a livid face. He was looking at his four teammates who stood opposite of him. Kao Xi, stop it. Give us the badge. Meng Yijun frowned at Kao Xi. Li Xiang, Shang Wen Xiao and Qian Shani were standing beside him. Their expressions are not looking too good. What badge? What the hell are you talking about? Kao Xi thinks he is going crazy. As soon as he got up early in the morning, Meng Yijun these four people asked him for their badge. But how can he have their badges are? Chapter 138 Say nothing in everything, too. Kao Xi was very depressed. He was still fast asleep when Meng Yijun and the others wake him up. He didn't know what's the matter. He had a dreamless night but his head is aching. The few people were uneasy, even after Meng Yijun shouted at him asking for the badge. Kao Xu inexplicably did not know what's going on. Kao Xu, you're being a bother. Everyone here is your teammate, even if there were some arguments you should still not be joking at this time. Meng Yijun is still a bit close to Kao Xu. Yesterday Kao Xu and Li Xiang had some disagreement. When Kao Xu finally volunteered to be in charge of the vigil, he felt glad. But when they got up early in the morning, they saw Kao Xu lying on the ground sleeping, where he should be keeping vigil. Who's joking with you? Kao Xu unhappily roared. Well, that's pretty much enough of this fuss. Quickly hand over the badges already. We are going to find some medicinal herbs today. Shang Wen Xiao is too lazy to go along with Kao Xu's nonsense. He was unhappy about the fact that Kao Xu was sleeping when he should be watching the night. And even until now, Kao Xu is still messing around. This is really unacceptable. Yes, ah, there are not many potions left on the hands Shang Wen big brother. We have to collect the herbs needed to configure the antidote before he ran out of potions. Otherwise it would be troublesome to meet other teams. After looking at their current situation, Kian Shani cannot help but try her best to persuade him as well. The corners of Kao Xu's mouth slightly twitched, it is impossible to cooperate with these of group of people. I don't know what you are talking about. Kao Xu, you're done. Last night you said that you're responsible for the vigil. As such, we left our badges into your custody. Let's forget about you slacking off, but you're still creating trouble right now. Are you deliberately making a mess to get us disqualified just so you can be happy? Li Xiang could not bear it anymore. He and Kao Xu already had a dispute, and if it were not for the other's requests last night, he would absolutely not give Kao Xu his badge. Hold on. Just what are you talking about? When did I say I was going to be responsible for the vigil? Did we not agree yesterday that no one was in charge of the vigil? Shang Wen Xiao. Didn't you took out some swamp potions and made a trap? The more Kao Xi heard, the more baffled he became. But the badge is indeed very important. Once lost they will be in a big trouble. Meng Yijun knitted his brows. He patiently said, when we are sleeping last night, you suddenly came out to us and asked for our badges saying you were responsible for the vigil, and to prevent archers of other teams from crossing the trap and stealing them. I saw with my own eyes when you received our badges and put them in your pocket. Stop joking around. I never said that. You must have been dreaming. Also my badge has always been on my chest, when Kao Xi said while pulling the lapel part of his robe for the others to see, but the moment he looked at his chest, his heart suddenly made a thump sound. His chest is empty, there's not even a shadow of a badge. This. How is this possible? I remember wearing my badge on my chest. Kao Xi panicked. He could care less about the others but his own badge actually disappeared. What did you say? You're wearing it on your chest? Your badge and ours are inside your pocket right now. Li Xiang humphed coldly, chapter 139 say nothing in everything, 3. That's impossible. Kao Xu hurriedly inspect his whole body from top to bottom. After rummaging through all the pockets on his clothing, he did not found even a single shadow of a badge. Seeing Kao Xu in a cold sweat, Several people's complexions suddenly became ugly. Kao Xu, 
who originally suspects that the three men were intentionally trying to humiliate him cannot help but feel worried at this time. Search carefully, look inside your storage ring. Meng Yijun uttered nervously as he stepped forward. Kao Xi looked at the ring on his finger, he said anxiously, impossible, I simply do not remember anything about this. Kao Xi had already taken out all the things inside his storage ring, but there's still no shadow of the badge. A heavy atmosphere spread throughout the cave, this situation just dealt a fatal blow to the team's harmony. Kao Xi, what the hell is wrong with you? Where's our badge? Return it to us right now. Li Xiang was already very anxious, he joined this team to be in a strong group, not to experience this kind of accident. Shut the fuck up. His head started to ache again. His heart was also anxious. Kao Xu no longer considered the presence of Qian Shani and just swear angrily. You dare to swear at me. Li Xiang was completely upset. He raised the wand in his hand and was about to release some magic. Meng Yijun saw that there's something amiss with the situation. He immediately stopped the impulse of Li Xiang. Now is not the time to fight. What really happened last night? We will figure it out. Kao Xu does not have any reason to deceive us. If his badge is also lost, then he'll be eliminated as well. He doesn't need to do this kind of malicious things. Meng Yijun is still calm. Last night, I remember that we've all gone to sleep, a while after I heard Li Xiang yelled. Then Kao Xi told us that he is going to keep vigil for the night, and we should leave our badges to him. Qian Shani hesitantly stated, her eyebrows are slightly wrinkled. I did not say I am going to keep vigil. Kao Xi growled furiously. You're lying. Last night it was clearly you who wanted to take my badge while I was sleeping. If it wasn't because I wake up and find out about your actions, I'm afraid that this morning, no one will know that the matter was done by you. Li Xiang exclaimed. Damn it. I already said a hundred times that I didn't do it. Kao Xu is going out of his mind. Are this group of people brain sick, to say that he took their badges? Well, stop it. Shang Wen Xiao is having a headache watching this group of teammates, he thought that it was stupid of him to promise Kao Xu to join his group. He looked at Kao Xu and genuinely said, whether you admit it or not, the fact that you asked for our badges yesterday is clear to the four us. Whether you forgot where you put it or it had been stolen when you're asleep, these are not the problem anymore. Shang Wen is right. Meng Yijun's expression is very dignified. Our badges are all gone now. According to the rules provided by the mentor, our badge should not be removed from our body. Now even Kao Xu's badge has disappeared. This means that our team has lost the qualifications to take the exam. That what should we do? Li Xiang is panicking. I don't know. The mentor just said that if the badges of all the five members of a team were gone, then the team will be automatically disqualified. The matter with Kao Xu was too strange. He would not benefit from doing this, so he absolutely had no reason to lie to them. Chapter 140 Say Nothing in Everything, 4 So what are we going to do now? Gain Shani had always let the four males do everything. Her reputation as the top two student of the priest branch was also due to the help of the guys from their branch, she actually doesn't have much of ability. And now she encountered such thing, she simply wants to cry. I don't know, didn't the mentor give us a signal crystal before the exam began? I just thought, if we don't crush the signal crystal, the mentor would not know the fact that we have already lost all the badges. Meng Yijun rubbed the corners of his eyebrows, his face has a trace of bitterness. He said, now we can only capture other team's badges as soon as possible in order to prevent people from finding out that our badges are all gone. Yes, we only need not to crush the signal crystal. No one will know that we have lost the qualifications. Li Xiang finally felt relieved. He then looked at the only hope of the team, Shang Wen Xiao. Shang Wen, how is the progress of the antidote? Shang Wen Xiao glanced at him and responded coolly, more or less. I would be be able to make it. But the medicinal herbs in my possession right now are insufficient. Fortunately, we can find the medicinal herbs listed in the formula here in the dark forest. As long as we can collect them, I can guarantee that in three days worth of time, I can configure the antidote. If not because he doesn't want to be dragged down by this group of people, Shang Wen Xiao would not make an effort to handle them. As long as Shang Wen Xiao can configure the antidote, we can restore our original strength with our power. 
Snatching some badges from the other teams is a simple matter. Only Chixia's team strength can contend with us, the other teams can only be our prey. Moreover, before coming to the Dark Forest, I had been informed that although Chixia's group consists of two pharmaceutical students, these two are just freshmen. Their pharmaceutical skills are not enough to be compared with Shangguan. Meng Yijun has relaxed. The only hope now is to let Shang Wen Xiao configure the antidote. Fortunately, as long as they don't crush the signal crystal, the mentors will not find out about their situation. It's not too bad. Shen Yang Xiao was sitting high on the branch, dangling in her mouth was a piece of jerky meat. She was amused watching the current predicament of Kao Xu and the others. Their ideas did not surprise her. These people are among the strongest of their respective branches. They will never allow themselves to be kicked out from the test this early. Hiding the fact that you are disqualified, this is basically what a normal person would do. What Shen Yang Xiao care about is the thing that the mentor said to them before they came here. The mentor had told them, as long as one person from the team of five students has still his badge on him, their team will still be qualified to take the exam. But once all five members lost their badge then this team will be eliminated from the test. She was curious if the teachers of Holy Roland School did not consider the fact that the students will try to deliberately withhold their qualification. Signal Crystal, this passive thing, no team will actually use it. If the Signal Crystal is not crushed, no one will find out that a team had already lost the test qualification. This situation and that rule about how a team can be disqualified is very inconsistent. If the signal crystal will be used to judge the team's defeat, she's afraid that at the end of the test, not even a single signal crystal will be crushed in the whole dark forest.